dropped David, the bomb. What are you doing here? Why are you hanging on my door? Cab driver kept trying to put me in a chair, and I kept sliding out. It's really not that bad up here. I keep waiting for the cowardly lion and the tin man to come along. David, 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 you were awful. Don't you, David, 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 me, you wanton woman. Wanton what? Wanton woman. That's what I called you, because that's what you are, a wanton woman. A woman who's wanton. Don't deny it. I know what I'm talking about. I called your house every 15 minutes last night. You did? Yes, I did. That is so sweet. Get your mitts off me, you scarlet pimpernel. Scarlet what? I guess I have to bear a lot of the guilt for this. I'm the guy that drove you to it, working with me, side by side, day in, day out. It's bound to make a weak-willed woman like yourself a little crazy. David. We're both mature adults here. I understand the problem, and I'm willing to help solve it. David. I mean, we can't very well have you out there on the streets of Los Angeles Filled with all these primal urges, embarrassing yourself and the agency, now can we? David, stop. No, stop now can. while there's still why, time. And I've given us a lot of thought. I will be more than happy to accommodate any urges, passions, or desires you may be filled with and find yourself unable to relieve. You understand the offer I'm making you? I happen to think it's damn nice of me. The trick is not to make a pig of yourself. Think carefully about what you want. Ow! For the good of the company and the safety of your life, we're going to forget that the last three minutes ever happened. Nod yes, if you understand. For your information, I spent last evening with... With who? I swore I wouldn't tell. Come on, your secret's safe. I said I couldn't Come sell. on, give me a hint. Telling. Rhymes with... No! Joe? Addison? Madison? Please! Louise? All right, all right, all right. If you must know, I spent last evening with Paul McCain. Remember the dead disc jockey, Paul McCain? You need my help more than I realize. Well, it turns out that he is very much alive. Alive? Alive. He feigned his death so that he could continue seeing Laura Boyd, whose husband was starting to suspect something. Alive? Alive, which means that there was no murder, which means that there was no case, which means that because of you and your tissues and light bulbs, this agency has wasted two days on nothing. Paul McCain's alive, I'll kill him. Blue Moon. Maddie Hayes, yeah. Maddie Hayes. Oh, hello, Paul. Give me that. McCain, you got a lot of nerve being alive. What? Can I come by? I need your help. Laura's husband, Arthur Boyd, they just found him, murdered, shot to death. It's for you. 